Okay, now that you've done that, now that you've, 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 you've gotten a general overview of, of how many questions there are and how much weight each question has and how much you, you, you've budgeted your time, you, you start, you're ready to start the exam, you're ready to start the first exam question. The, the, the first uh, hypo is, is in front of you. Go to the bottom of the first hypo. Read the question. Read that question first. For each question, when you get to it, first read the question to get a sense of, of, of what you're being asked to answer. Uh, and then you go back and start reading the entire hypothetical. And uh, you, read, you, you first read the question, get a feel for what the question is about, and then the next step, read the hypothetical. Read the, the full exam question. Read the, 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 the entire uh, essay uh, question. Find, you know, just, 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 just read, it, read it quickly to get a feel of what it's all about. Just read it, uh, identify in your, in your mind what area of law you're talking about, what causes of action may be involved, uh, what, what principles of law are being requ are required uh, here, uh, are, are being raised here. Just, just get a general feel for it. Read it quickly. Then go back, after you've read it quickly for the diagnostic read, go back and read it a second time. Now this time, you're, you're doing your work. Now this is, this is critical for your exam taking. Go and read it another time. And now you're talking about who's who and what's what. You go back and read it. You've got your, your marker. You've got a highlighter. You've got a pen or a pencil, whatever you read, whatever you use. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be reading for spotting issues. This is the spot the issues method. This is, this is the, the, you know, we're playing spot the issues here. And we'll be talking more uh, about that in, in a moment. But in that second read, that diagnostic read, you're circling the names of the parties, you're uh, underlining important facts, you're circling dates, uh, because all of this is going to help you to answer the question properly. Uh, there's going to be some legal principle or some statute that's going to be given to you. you use brackets or something like that, or maybe use your highlighter. Something that sets these things apart so that you, you'll be able from your practice exams to use the same process and just bracket the principles of law, and uh, you'll you'll be able to, to find it when you go when you're going through this process. Uh, you're you've, you're going to have a scratch sheet. Uh, make some notes on the scratch sheet. It's very important you use that scratch sheet uh, because it's going to help you go through the process of, of, of you know answering the question properly. And then of course you're going to be outlining your answer. Your outline for your answer is going to be very critical because what you're going to be doing is spending a significant amount of your time before you write your formal answer, making an outline of that answer. Now, some people use a ratio of one-third of their time in outlining and two-thirds in actually writing. Now, you know, that varies a bit depending upon the individual, but that's, that's a pretty good... Uh, method of, of a pretty good gauge, a pretty good guideline for you to consider. Um, one third of your time in, in outlining and two third of your time in, in, in actually doing the writing. Um, and you will find that uh, that kind of balance will help you to, to proceed very effectively in, in answering your exam questions.